now we come to the concealment and deconcealment of the uh, soupy so at the start of the authentication procedure the user equipment sends 5g guti if this user equipment has previously registered itself with the network but if this user e equipment has not previously registered itself with the network then the 5g guti is not available 5g guti is the temporary identifier which is much safer to use but if 5g guti is not available then supi needs to be used but supi is the permanent identity of a subscriber and it is never sent over the ear interface because uh, it may be caught by some imzi imzi catcher so this supi is encrypted by the user equipment as susi uh, and it is then sent over the ear interface and this encryption is carried out in the user equipment and uh, when you talk about the format of the supi you have the supi type you have the mobile country code uh, you have the mobile network code and you have the mobile subscriber identification number in the supi format so uh, supi type indicates uh, whether it is a 3gpp uh, supi or it is a non 3gpp supi because in the 3gpp supi uh, you use the imzi uh, but in the non 3gpp su um, supi you uh, use other identifiers so actually uh, more and more specifically it is the mobile subscri uh, subscriber identification number that is encrypted and it is encrypted using the home network uh, public key that is publicly available in the uh, usim and after the encryption the msin is concealed and uh, also the id of the key is sent in the uh, susi uh, the id of the public key that was used uh, for the encryption and uh, what type of encryption was uh, used is same in the scheme id and then you have the routing uh, indicator which is an identifier that is available in the usim and the mobile country code and the mobile network code are sent as the home network id and the supi type uh, is sent as it is so this is your susi and when this susi reaches the uh, udm UDM needs to extract the SUPI from the SUSI and this uh, uh, extraction of the SUPI from the uh, SUSI is carried out using the private key that is only available with the network but uh, it can decrypt the public key which is uh, easily available but private key is only with the network and it can decrypt the public key so this private key Uh, along with the uh, scheme id are used to decrypt the mobile uh, subscriber identification number and uh, here uh, this arrow indicates that the private key that are we, we are using here it corresponds to the public key uh, that was used as at the user equipment so after the uh, de encryption we get the mobile uh, subscriber identification number we get the home network id which consists of mobile country code mobile network code and we have the supi type uh, so this is our complete uh, supi that has been deconcealed